So, so the first approved oncolytic virus therapy, as I mentioned by the FDA, was the uh, oncolytic virus therapy for melanoma in, in the United States. Uh, and that was the oncolytic virus called TVAC or Imlygic. And that was approved by the FDA in 2015. And it was based on a large clinical trial in which the patients that had locally advanced melanoma, and some had more advanced melanoma that had lesions that were injectable, but they were not able to be excised surgically. So these patients were assigned to, re to receive intralesional TVAC, meaning the TVAC being given inside the tumor directly, or a drug called GMCSF. Uh, which is uh, a drug that stimulates the immune system. Uh, and the end point of the study was the durable response rate. So in that study, it was shown that the, the oncolytic virus, STVAC, was superior to GMCSF. The response rate was 16% in the onco oncolytic virus arm, the TVAC, compared to 2.1% in the GMCSF arm. Others, uh, other outcomes were also superior. Uh, the overall response rate was better and the medium overall survival was also better in that group that was treated with uh, the oncolytic virus, TVAC. Now, in the case of bladder cancer, for patients that had bladder cancer that was not invasive, meaning did not go very deeply into the bladder, uh, the first line of treatment for that is usually something called BCG, uh, which is also a form of immunotherapy. But for patients that do, lo do not respond to BCG or respond and stop responding, this new drug, uh, uh, adstrelidin, was approved. And that is also an oncolytic virus. And in those patients, the complete response rate was 51%, which is pretty high for patients that have stopped responding to the standard of care treatment. And, and those responses lasted almost 10 months uh, on average. 